All right, this is College Math Lesson 1.1, Set Notation. And our objective for this lesson is to be able to identify the members of a set using set notation. Let's start by defining some terms. All right, our first definition is a set. A set is a collection of objects, or if you like, a collection of things. Um, these things or these objects can, can really be anything. You can have a a set of numbers, of letters, of words, of people, of animals, emotions, or any combination of, of things. Anything that you can list out, can be. you can make a set out of those things. All right. Our next, is, our next uh, definition is members. So the individual objects that make up a set are called its members. Um, so, for example, if we have a, the set is all of the states in the United States, the members would be the individual states, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, etc. So the members are the individual objects that make up a set. All right, next is the empty set. The empty set is just a set with no members in it. And I'll show you in a moment how we're going to indicate the empty set. But um, it is going to be important that, uh, that we understand that a set can contain nothing. We can have the empty set, which just has no members in it. All right, so set notation. So sets are described by listing the members between a pair of braces separated by commas. So for example, you see here um, this set of gentlemen, you have Niall, Harry, Louis, Zane, and Liam. They make up a set. The members of, the, of that set are those individual uh, men, but uh, it, so you just put their names in between two braces and separate them by commas. So Niall, Harry, Louis, Zane, Liam, close the brace, and you're done. That's in set notation. Um, the empty set is shown with a pair of braces with nothing in between them. So you just um, just put those, those two braces there and just don't list anything between the braces. That means that this is a set with no members. One note on the empty set. Sometimes it's referred to as the null set. And although in this class, um, we will indicate the empty set with a pair of braces with nothing in between them, sometimes you'll see the, the empty set indicated with this symbol, a zero with a line through it. But one thing you can't do is put braces with that symbol in between it. This does not mean the empty set. This is the set uh, that includes that symbol. So the empty set is either gonna be the braces with nothing in between or this uh, circle with a line through it, um, but not this. All right, let's do some examples. So we're asked to write the contents of each of these sets using set notation. So this first one says the set of all US states that begin with the letter A. So to put this in set notation, we're gonna start with a brace and then we're gonna write all the members of this set. So let's start with Arizona. And then we've got uh, Alabama and Alaska. and Arkansas. And then we'll close that off with another brace on the end there. So we've just got four members of this set and we're going to list them all out with commas separating them in between uh, two braces. And so that's this set in set notation. All right, the next one, the set of all years in the 19th century. So this one, uh, contains a hundred members. There's a hundred years in the 19th century. 
And so we're going to want to write this out a little bit differently. We're going to start with uh, start with a brace like before, and then we're going to start with the first year of the 19th century, which, depending on your viewpoint, could either be 1800 or 1801. Uh, let's let's go with 1800. And then the next year would be 1801, and then 1802. And then instead of writing all of these out, we can see the pattern here. We're going 1800, 1801, 1802, and then we're going to use an ellipsis, just uh, dot, 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 and then another comma, and then we'll put the last year in this set, which would be 1899. So that's all. That's that's how we would indicate this set in set notation. We're using this ellipsis to say. We're going to continue this pattern all the way up to uh, 1899. All right. The last one is the set of all integers less than two. So, um, so an integer is a whole number, and it can be uh, either positive or negative. And so let's put some braces here. Um, and then there's a couple of different ways that we could think about this. The first integer that's less than two, because notice that it doesn't say less than or equal to, so two is not in this set, but the first integer that would be less than two would be one, so we could write one, and then the next one would be zero, and then negative one, and then negative two, and then dot, 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 put that ellipsis at the end, meaning this continues forever. Um, now, usually, we write numbers uh, from left to right going uh, from smallest to greatest. And so another way that we could write this would be to put the ellipsis in the front um, and then negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1 would be the, the largest number in this set. Either way is acceptable. All right, so that's it. Hopefully this will give you enough information that you'll need to complete your homework assignments. Good luck.